Hello, buddy. Welcome back to Dark Souls. <laughs> Look at that. Looks like we've got another caster in the background there. Um, more on that crown later. Um, again, that's something else we could have picked up earlier. But um, trying to keep things at least somewhat balanced. In any case, it's time for us to clear out the Phalanx Shrine. Um, you'll probably notice that I'm 2,000 souls up from the previous episode. And basically, I kind of just used a soul item by accident uh, that was in my inventory. Anyway, we're going to speak to this guy. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. Uh, too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happens. Brilliant, right? <laughs> Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land, the undead? I actually think that's hilarious. That's almost like the developer's laughing at you. Not much to go on, but you'll do it anyway. <laughs> ah, your face. You're practically hollow. I don't know. Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> <coughs> and the dialogue there. Whoops. Restoring your humanity? Well, there are a few ways to go about it. Collected bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter up a cleric and get yourself summoned. And the <laughs> quickest way, although I never do it, is to kill a healthy undead and pillage its humanity. <laughs> Think my neighbor is only human, after all. <laughs> so, a few law points there. Uh, I am no law master, but basically, he's talking about. Um, another part of the game which is obviously the PvP side of it uh, and invading other players will restore your humanity basically uh, it will also build up uh, over time on its own if you kill enemies and the boss of that area hasn't yet been defeated I don't quite know the lore implications of that uh, just because that seems almost like um, the boss has some kind of link to the enemies that are in the specific area that we're talking about. So, we're just picking up items that are around here in uh, the Phalanx Shrine. Obviously, the most important one being the uh, the item that we've got immediately. We're not going to pick items up that we can actually get by going up the lift. Again, because I want to save those for when we come back around uh, in the normal way. But do know that if you go up this lift drop off onto these rafted bits here get across uh, let's see if we can point it out somewhere uh, you can get across to that uh, building which will have a key and you can get actually get back to the undead asylum by going and sitting in that bird's nest up at the top where is it I'm pretty sure it's on this side yeah I think we can just about see it just there look um, but that's happening for another time for now though we can drop down here that's the first time that's not hurt me. I must, it must be something to do with the weight of your uh, of your clothing. No mimics here. Um, we'll talk about those later on. But there are chests that can eat you. But luckily we don't really see one of those for a while. The Morning Star, they're pretty good if you start out as the Cleric. Cracked with eye orbs for if you do actually want to go and invade players. There we are, Lloyd's Talisman. That actually prevents uh, players from healing. Uh, also useful for um, disarming mimics. Now we're going to have a quick run around here. I'm probably going to end up dying and losing all of my souls. I'm going to attempt not to. Uh, if I do, I'll probably come back for come back for them because that's a lot of souls. Um, for this point of the game, it's not actually a lot overall, but um, like it's not it's not something that I would cry about. There's the Zvihander. Uh, anyone that's ever played Souls games probably seen memes about that. That is the super duper crazy sword. Something here, I can't remember what it is. Winged Spear, pretty good if you're... Whoa! 
careful of that uh, status element that's building up there. That is bleed, and basically if that builds up, you'll lose, I think it's a third of your total health. So pretty damn nasty. Uh, we're going to go this way, we're going to let them reset a little bit. There's still another item that I want to get. I think it's actually something on the end of this as well, which is why I was coming up the steps rather than going underneath. Uh, nothing's wrong for taking a heal, actually. Let's do that. No, you don't. Leave me alone. Let's see how we get this up here. Roll off this. And then basically we jump over this, just to make things quicker. And rest here, which will reset all of those skeletons to their original places. Uh, and then finally over in this direction there's a little item that's just kind of below below just here where are we I think that one's actually a soul item as well which is uh, kind of the most useful thing for me down here really just be careful because these bones will come to life on you and uh, that's this little area cleared um, of goodies I actually count that as a part of the Phoenix Shrine uh, although really it's kind of the entrance to a different area. Again, another area that you could in fact go down into if you really, really wanted to. But um, I don't really like it. <laughs> I don't like that area at all. A lot of uh, ledgers to fall off of. So with what I think is the majority of the items that we can get here, we're going to go ahead and pop all of the souls that we've just gotten. I say pop like there's spots, but... Uh, I suppose it's more like consuming. And I also definitely need to unequip some of these items. I really don't want to accidentally use some of these, particularly those. Those that can stay there. Five bombs can be useful, uh, particularly when you, if you don't have very many, very much in the way of ranged attacks. So leveling up, we have enough for three levels. Oh wow, okay. Heh. <laughs> Who'd have thought I'm actually online? Fair enough. Uh, so, with three points, I definitely need more endurance, so we're going to continue upping that. More health is, of course, going to be fantastic, uh, and I'm actually going to continue uh, improving our intelligence as well. So, a pretty uh, mediocre way of uh, upgrading there, but I don't think the S-Stock has that great scaling anyway. Let's take a look here. Whoops. Oh, come on. Where are you going? There he is. S-Stock. C, scaling and so, so that's actually going to be pretty good for us, actually. So, um, not a bad little weapon for us to be carrying. It's pretty fast. Got good range on it. So, um, actually going to be pretty handy for us. <laughs> and, and probably quite an amazing weapon to have at this point in the game. The range on the attack is just uh, going to be pretty phenomenal for us. In any case, we're going to get this guy from range. I highly recommend that. Uh, basically because above there, we are going to have a dude that wants to start throwing firebombs at us. Uh, and he will actually drop them as well. So if you uh, decide you do want more firebombs, he's actually a pretty good, pretty good person to get them from. If you uh, want to spend the time getting them, that is. Be careful here. Uh, there are quite a lot of enemies. This one's probably going to come down in a second. No, he didn't. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. i get you down. Let's deal with this guy. He's going to jump down. Or he usually does. Yeah, there we go. We'll push you down. There we go. So that clears uh, all of the mandatory enemies. Next up's this guy. Now, obviously, you can cheese him. He does get to heal, though, so be careful of that. We get some more souls, which is good. Uh, now, be aware that if you have played previous games, unlike those games, you do actually level up at the bonfire, so you can do that anywhere. So we don't need to go back there to use souls. Uh, something else we'll point out as well is that that item over there is a Ring of Sacrifice. Uh, a Ring of Sacrifice, basically, when you have one of those uh, and you die with it equipped, uh, which is very rare for me, particularly in this game when you only have two ring slots, uh, you will not lose your souls. And I don't think you lose your humanity either. Now... Uh, I actually don't find it that useful in in the first place, and B, um, there's a, there's a strong likelihood that you'll actually die going over there, so I don't tend to actually do that. Again, I'm gonna make sure this stuff not polluting my uh, my waist belt here. 
Uh, I don't actually like to have many items uh, in my in my ability. I didn't actually realise we could actually uh, attack while blocking. That's actually really, really effective with the shield in particular. Uh, also worth noting that if you do want to farm for uh, humanity, rats drop humanity. So something else worth noting. Hopefully you'll see the uh, the counter naturally go up by one humanity by the time we get to the Taurus Demon. Uh, it would be nice for people to see that. Let's see just how effective this can be. That's <laughs> so funny. That is a fantastic combination. Particularly as we've got like faster stamina regeneration. That's pretty lethal actually. Um, <laughs> and a very safe way to play. Now we're going to clear this little area out first. Uh, and then we're actually going to do a little optional area as well. Uh, try and get it all done in one go. If I can. Do 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 do. Someone died in there. Now it's worth noting that whilst you're going through the fog gate, you are uh, you do have invincibility frames. Which means if you wanted to just run past all of this, you could. Uh, but I don't recommend it, particularly if you are uh, newer to the game. I don't think you can actually make this jump. Oh, you can! Haha! -ha! I didn't realise you could do that. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't realise we could do that. That's actually going to make things a bit easier. It's always great to learn something new. Boom! Any more? Are you coming? Oh, they haven't gotten up the uh, the thing yet. Okay. Well, so we're going to go down there. They're all going to try and ambush me. That's actually probably not the best way to go. <laughs> if I'm honest. So... Um, right here we have a couple of ways that we can go down. So first up, we can either uh, drop down this way, which is the way that we're going to go now. And that's going to get us that item that you see just there. Or you can drop down this side. Um, but obviously we're going to drop down here so we can get the item. I can't remember what it is, so don't quote me. Ah, more souls. It's actually kind of handy for now. Uh, then we drop down here. These guys are going to aggro on us. Although they haven't done. That's interesting. Up into here gets us, I think, another soul item. It's nothing particularly important. Yeah, it is. But, uh, again, quite handy for now. Part of me is quite tempted to go and get some extra soul arrows. Now, if you get to these guys quick enough, I failed it there, you can actually knock them off. I'm really going to exercise that ability to be able to uh, attack while blocking. It's fantastic. I can't remember if we can target that guy from here. You definitely can if you have a bow equipped. But uh, it's not going to let me lock on. Because that is obviously meant to be a, uh, a surprise. But, um... That's one off. Two off. You still get the souls for them too. However, you just won't be able to, tr you won't be able to pick up their, uh, their swords, which are broken swords. Who cares? Well then, there we go. That's this uh, this episode's parry out the way. <laughs> right, and I can't remember what this is. Rubbish. Uh, as rubbish as that sounds, no pun intended, I promise. Uh, that is actually something that we can give to Snuggly the Crow. I can't remember what to get for it, but I think that is actually pretty decent. Right, now that is everything down that little si little circuit. Taking very little damage as well, which is quite handy. Um, I'm going to show a different trick in a second. Well, not in a second, but in a minute as well. Now, be careful on the way out here. Uh, as we come up here, Dragon is going to go and slam his claw onto the end. If you're sprinting up there, that will actually get you, and you'll die. More on the Dragon later. Right, now, above we have an archer. Uh, here you're going to see how annoying they can be, just because... Their uh, their arrows do have a homing ability. I need to remember that uh, we've got that to use. It doesn't actually even take any uh, stamina, which is the more more cool thing about it. Which is something that it did do in later situations of the game. 
I've really enjoyed the S-Dock so far. I've never really used it in the uh, in Dark Souls 1. Ouch. Well, let's put you down. Now, the little trick that I was referring to earlier is this. What we're going to do right now, just try and make things easier. Now, you don't have to do this. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of an option here. We're just going to light the bonfire. Which, in theory, will mean uh, if we die, then uh, we'll respawn at that bonfire. Now, that is the path of progression. But first, we're going to go ahead down here. Uh, now, I really, really hate these guys. They are literally my least favourite enemy. There we go. Spells do tame them a little bit. But, um, yeah, they're, they're just frustrating to get their uh, their guard down. There's our first piece of Titanite. And unlike the other Dark Souls, that is enough to actually upgrade a weapon. So, um, we will probably end up upgrading the S-Dock once we get to a blacksmith. Enemy behind the boxes. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have this dude. Well, no. I'm just going to skip through this uh, dialogue. He's basically just a merchant. Uh, and a pretty useful one earlier in the early on in the game. Uh, he's got some decent items for uh, for us. The ability to kind of upgrade your bonfires is pretty, pretty handy. We've already got all of the keys we need. We're going to buy that anyway, just in case we need it later on. I don't think we will. Uh, and he also has some basic weaponry. So if you don't want to use the S-Dock for whatever reason, maybe you don't want to put uh, that point into strength, you can, in fact, use the rapier instead, um, which will only require to you put the single point into dexterity. Similar... Um, Similar kind of weapon, other than it uh, has less reach. I think it does less standard damage, but does more um, backstab damage, which is what the critical thing's about. Also got arrows as well, if you want to buy some of those, if you want to participate in more ranged attacks. Um, we could probably stand to get a few, but uh, for now I'm not going to, just because I want to save the souls. Also got the chain set too, so if you do want a heavier set, uh, and you didn't start with one, something else that you can get here too. Uh, now, if you happen to get everything that you want from him, he is also worth killing. He has the Uchi Katana, which is a pretty decent katana weapon uh, and applies the bleed effect uh, to enemies. So you can actually drain their HP too. Although they don't just simply lose 30% uh, of their HP like we do. They'd lose like some kind of set amount. So Quite handy though. Now, these guys are going to come at you in twos usually. That's really weird that the other one's just decided it's going to go in the other direction. Uh, now, if you happen to be a pyromancer, that barrel on the right-hand side will explode. So, if you want to try to corral them in and around it and hit that with a um, with a fireball, that'll also work. And this takes us back up to a little bit. This is where we're most likely to die in this episode, uh, other than the boss fight, obviously. Uh, and that's because we've got a long jump to make over there. Now, being light armoured uh, does actually give you an advantage with this. So, uh, bear that in mind. Uh, and the jump mechanics in this game do leave something to be desired. There we are. Straight across there. Really like it being, uh, being in such a nimble state. Although we are actually low in terms of uh, armour placement, which does mean we will take extra damage. We should have, well, you should always attempt to have um, an armor piece in each in each place. Uh, but until we get more lighter types of armor, that's not really going to be a thing, unfortunately. Or we'll upgrade our endurance a bit more. Uh, something that we could do is go and get Havel's ring, but we're going to leave that until after the boss, I think. Right, so that is most of the basics. There is an, another shield worth getting here. Uh, so if you didn't want to go and get the Grass Crest Shield, I don't know why you wouldn't want to do that, other than obviously it takes a bit of effort. There is a Wooden Shield here. So if you start out with a, uh, a lower quality shield, that's quite worth getting. I think it probably needs less stats to use as well, which could be a selling point for it as a mage. With that done, that is uh, the first part of the Undead Bird. I can't remember all the different names of the enemy uh, areas. This is the Undead Burg, but I can't remember how far it spreads. Because I think it turns into like the Undead Residence, then the Undead something else um, as we go forward. Right, we have got a few soul items. We're going to use some of those. 
There's no reason not to uh, not to be leveling. Now it's probably worth. You know, I'm going to put those in the uh, in the slot. Let's get rid of those. It's probably worth mentioning about humanity at this point, um, particularly as some people do actually look, like to come back and give you a hand. Uh, but also, uh, people will invade you. So if you use some of that humanity, you will uh, return to human forms. All of this kind of uh, dredged out look that we have at our character right now, that'll reverse. You'll actually look human, like we did in character creation. Um, however, it basically unlocks the multiplayer aspects of the game. Uh, what I mean by that is... Right, so I'm going to do... Yeah, I'm going to put one in dexterity, maybe even two, because I really want to up the, the damage of um, the air stock. But I also want to continue to uh, gain in health and endurance. There's quite a lot of stats that I want to, want to improve. Strength is of no use to me at this point, so that's not going to get touched. Not unless we decide to switch the claymore, but at this point it's looking unlikely. Um, so yeah, the build is coming along nicely. I think extra dexterity and health is is a pretty safe bet, even for a caster at this point. But extra HP never hurt nobody. Uh, but as we're saying about the humanity, if we have to pop one of those, we will be subject to invasions. And for some reason, in this um, area in particular, a lot of people do like to come back and torment newer players. Um, I don't know why that is the case, but they do. <laughs> So just be aware of that. It's not going to happen every time, um, but just be aware that that is the case. Um, it's just a part of the game. It kind of fits with the law that there are uh, undead that want to, um, you know, kind of usurp and pillage your, your humanity and stuff. But it's just how people are. So we're going to come over this way. Uh, I'm going to stop right here. Now, usually, if you stop right in the doorway... Uh, wow, I didn't realise that the... Blast could come straight through the door like that. Uh, basically, if you stop in the doorway, it prevents that guy from immediately opening that door. Uh, it's best if you do this in the first try because of that door, basically. I love the range on this weapon. It's just absolutely annihilating some of these guys. I uh, don't think there's any items in these chests. Uh, but yeah, essentially, it just stops him from uh, coming in here and making this a three-on-one fight, which is uh, definitely good. Oh, wow, I've got people asking for duels and all sorts. That's kind of kind of cool. Not something I'm participating in right now, though. A um, couple of enemies in here. We've got one on the left in here. That is so, so good at this point of the game. A bit ridiculous. But essentially, you're going to come in here and you're going to want to clear those guys out just to prevent yourself from getting ambushed. Again, not a mimic. Can't remember what's in here, though. Black fire bombs. That's probably why I didn't remember it. It's not really something that I care about. But the chest has been opened, so that's good. So, next up we've got uh, another 3 on 1 fight. Now, the Solar Arrow is probably going to make this quite easy. Because what I can do... Whoa, missed. Uh, the aim on this is terrible. But because it can insta-kill them, you can kind of make yourself a bit easier here. But one of these usually uh, throws fire bombs at you. So, kind of surprised that it's not doing that. Wastecloth, yeah, we don't care about that. So I'm going to head up this way. These are the guys that were throwing fire bombs down at you previously. Um, not really essential that you come up and kill them, but uh, fun nonetheless. There we are. And back down the ladder. Now the residence key that we bought, and I bought it kind of out of, you know, it's probably what... Other people may have to do if they don't pick the uh, pick the master key up. It opens that door that you just saw on the right. There's some other doors that it opens later on as well. Uh, and I've just noticed we've just had our uh, first humanity pop into our account there. Uh, the cool thing about it is, and I can't really show it until I decide I'm going to use some of it, but that will actually increase your defences. Very, very slightly, but it does. Uh, as well as increasing the item drop rate of the enemies. So, uh, a good idea to try to keep hold of some of it in your, in your counter, particularly as you go through the adventure. Um, but don't get angry if you, if you lose it. It's not essential for, for very many things in general. Gold Pine Resin, that basically makes um, the next boss into a big, giant pussycat. 
And at this point, I really am tempted to go and get um, to go and get um, some extra solar arrows, which I probably do at the end. Oh, I don't have the stat. What stats does it need? Ah, dexterity. Okay. I think we can still we should still be able to fire it though, which is what I need. I need to I simply need to be able to fire one arrow. Yeah, we can. That's cool. So I just want to shoot this guy. You really, you don't really even need to do any damage to him. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we are, uh, and that triggers his trap. I'm going to unequip the bow. We really don't need it on at the moment. Uh, it's unnecessary weight. That's going to bring him down here. We should be able to, we'll probably even be able to fire at him from here like this. There we go. Because of the damage we did, he was already uh, partially damaged. Now, before we go on, we already killed the guy tower, didn't we? Anyway, so we're fine. I almost forgot that we'd done that. So we're going to go ahead and clear out this guy. Whoops. Didn't have the shield out. That was that was nearly very dangerous. There we go. That does him. Now there's an optional enemy down there, which we're going to do in a moment uh, when we come back. Uh, we're going to deal with the boss first. There's an optional enemy in there that we're going to deal with when we come back as well. Um... First, we're going to deal with the boss. Now, the first thing... I don't know if you can hear it. No, you can't. Now, basically, in here we have another one of these guys. I'm trying to remember what he actually drops for us. Oh, I missed. No! Not good. We were too late. Uh, simply rest of the bonfire. He reappears anyway, but uh, that could have been some more upgrade stones. That's... Nothing to uh, nothing to care about too badly. Kill. Cool. Now this is um, your first boss encounter, or should I say, the boss encounter for the uh, the Undead Berg. Uh, he actually becomes a standard enemy later on. Well, not a standard enemy, but a, a, a tough enemy later on. That's a Taurus Demon. Careful of these guys. This is a pretty tough duo. Uh, they're both archers, and they're essentially up here to make this fight um, difficult. Which is what they do. If you don't come up here and deal with them first. Cool. Now this is probably where I'm going to die. Because that's how uh, how my fortune rolls. We're going to roll down this way. For some reason I think my headset's kind of squeaking. Uh, but we haven't actually used any heals. So I'm pretty confident about that. Now just keep an eye on the top of the tower. And as soon as you see a little bull looking head come over there. We're going to run on backwards. Um, the Grass Crest Shield is going to become even more useful here because there is a lot of running to do. Uh, if you want to make this fight easy for yourself anyway. So essentially we're just going to get up here. Uh, and much like the Asylum Demon, we're going to do that. That really did not do the damage that I thought it would. I don't know if they've changed how that works. Alright then. We can actually fire one of these at him while doing that. Now once he kind of swings... Oh, it's probably a bit too close for this. It's probably going to knock me off. This would be very, very bad. Nope, we got it fast enough. That was good. Uh, that was a bit risky there. I really probably shouldn't have fired a spell at him, but uh, I just want to see if we could. There we go. Get that one in there like that. He's taking these like a champ, isn't he? All right, let's get through here. I really probably should take a heal in a second. He's going to launch an attack in a second. I'm going to take a heal. Now... Uh, this part of the wall here is actually a good place to try and get him to do his jumping attack, which he usually does. There we go. We're just going to run straight on by him. This time we'll have a much better head start on him. So we should be okay. There we go. And run around again. Now this is kind of the cheese method for him. Whoa! Oh, I missed. That's not good. I just wanted to get that hit in there just because I was a bit salty. <laughs> Right, so he's going to run after us now. I can't believe that missed. That was because of the roll. Right, let's go. No. That was a bit close. At least his attacks are quite suitably telegraphed. Right, so he should be pretty close this time. Now, note, also note that if you do actually want to fight him, uh, he will actually jump up there and you can actually fight him on top of the tower. Which, if you do actually want to fight him properly, I... Uh, Highly recommend, just because you've got more space up there. Right, so you want him to come over this way and do another attack. 
Uh, try not to pass him where the gap in the wall is, because he can push you off. Which is uh, a frustrating way to die to him. Go up here like this. Need to not get overconfident. Not one yet. Probably shouldn't do that. Let's go. Although this should finish him. There we go. No point in doing that big run again. Cool. So, uh, for those not wanting to see the optional enemies that we are going to go and deal with afterwards, I'm just going to show you where we're going to pick the next episode up from. Uh, as you come through here, the first thing you're going to want to do is... Um, there it is. We've got the light items here, so even more souls. Um, go on down the steps. And we have a bridge to cross. <laughs> the ordeal isn't over yet. This game, uh, particularly in the earlier stages was pretty brutal. Uh, we are going to pick the next episode up talking to this guy down here. Uh, his name's Solaire. If you've ever heard anything about Dark Souls, you definitely heard about Solaire. So, um, I'll catch you guys that don't want to see the optional enemies um, done right now in the next episode, and we are going to start heading back. Uh, so, if you're sticking with me, we're going to head back down this way. We've got a Black Knight and another fairly tough enemy to deal with. Uh, I wanted to wait until after we'd done uh, done the boss fight before we started doing that. Just so that we could do this. Uh, we probably should also spend our souls uh, once we've done this. Uh, probably need more health and stamina still. Mainly because of the dragon. Uh, we're going to deal with the Black Knight first, I think. Particularly whilst all these enemies are gone. Now, I can't remember how far we can get him to chase us. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we should be able to cheese him from one of the roofs. So I'm going to get him to come all the way from here. That's going to really annoy him. Uh, if you're quick and well-timed, you can actually get a drop attack on him from on there. But um, I'm no fan of... No professional at doing that kind of thing. But uh, Essentially, we should just be able to go up here like this. And we're out of his range. Uh, you can drop attack him as well. Which is probably what we're going to finish him with. He really doesn't like it. But he just can't give in, look, can he? Seems like he's looking for a place to take cover. Which is kind of clever, really, when you think about it. It's AI. There we go. Now we should be able to drop off on him. I was expecting to do more damage than that. That's not good. We need to back off. Take a heal. He usually rushes you when you do that. That's strange. Um, but to fight him fairly, we'll bring him over into this uh, nice big area here. And we should be pretty fine. Whoa, we didn't get the, uh, the backstab I thought we was going to get there. Whoa, I'm nearly dead. I'm, I'm going to die. Nope, no I'm not. It's not over yet. I was certain you could get a backstab. I'm probably circling the wrong way. That's him down anyway. Completely tight that chunk, that's excellent. Cool, and the next guy we need to deal with is Havel. I think I'm actually going to rest before we deal with him. Uh, I really don't want to have 5,000 souls on the line when I'm down there. So, we're going to have a quick sit down at the bonfire. It will also probably be a good idea to uh, pop some of this as well. Um, I can't remember if it, how, um, how much he does or doesn't like pine resin. Maybe we'll try using some on him. I think it is lightning he's weak to. Anywho, 
That's three more levels, so I'm probably going to recommend doing that. I know it's not going to be particularly useful in the immediate fight we're going to have with... Uh, and I think it is Havel. Uh, I know there's a lot of um, fan theory that it could be one of his soldiers, but I'm pretty sure it is Havel that we're going to be facing. Um, and we can run through a lot of this now. Don't really need to uh, to take my time like I did before. Don't quite know how far these will run after me, but I'm absolutely positive that they won't chase down here. Uh, and I'm going to attempt using the uh, the gold pine resin on him. I really don't know what kind of effect it will have. Let's just make sure we don't get too followed too far down here. Otherwise, things are going to go very badly. Well, there's two here now. That's not good at all. Whoop. Damn it. Come here. Come on. What are you doing? There we go, that's you. I love that ability. There we go. I forgot this weapon doesn't have a kick. That's the worst thing about it. That's probably why I don't usually use it. But alas, we'll be fine. Now this is a challenge enemy. Uh, if you haven't trouble with him, it's not essential, but I just really, really like his ring. Note that that attack, if it hits you square on, will kill you. Uh, probably even with your shield up. Nope, not quite. The follow-up nearly did, though. <laughs> wow. Usually you can just circle around him, though. This is really strange. There we go. That's what we're after. Now, this can take a while, so I'm going to try using some resin. Whoa, took my lock off me there. Let's see how much difference this makes. Nope, flatten me. <laughs> <sighs> I think I was fighting with the controls as much as I was fighting with anything else there, though. Um, so, yeah, with that kind of demonstrated, uh, I'm going to end the episode here. You guys don't need to see me uh, do making all of those lots of kind of attempts at him there so in the next episode i'll probably have his ring that is gonna that is the plan uh, once that's done we'll be carrying on with the rest of the undead berg uh, see you then guys have a good one